Wayne was somebody I met very early uh, in coming to Grand Bama, particularly in my official capacity. And he, he, he was someone who was always willing to share his ideas and share his time uh, to make a difference. I, I think the work that, that he did in his private capacity, uh, as well as an advocate on behalf of farmers and fishers, uh, is incredible. He, he, will, he will leave a huge hole uh, in, in Grand Bahama. Uh, in, on a personal level, Wayne also conducted uh, workshops for us. We, we run in Marco City a down-to-business program. He was one of those persons who, who lent his expertise uh, to in, encourage young people, uh, guide them as they were developing their, their business plans. And, and, and we, will, we will definitely miss him. I was in New Providence um, when I learned of his passing and it, it, was, it was stunning to me. And I pray for his family and uh, for the community from which he hails. And, um, and, I, and I, I know that, that, um, that his legacy will definitely live on. <laughs> My name, Tiffany Dennison. I work at Local Organics Limited, uh, the aquaponics at the Garden of the Groves, with my partner, Wayne Hall. Uh, what's your position? And your position there? Owner and operator. Owner operator. Yes. Okay, and uh, you would have worked pretty closely with Wayne. Uh, just talk uh, about his memory. I've known Wayne for 25 years. He's been a friend for, I think it's over 25 years. Um, it's very serendipitous to me that we lost touch with each other. He moved to Abaco. When, when he moved back here, we were both working in agriculture. I was doing hydroponics, he was doing aquaponics. So we put them together to work together. Um, our goal was to make sure we have food sustainability of organic food within Freeport, Grand Bahama, then the Bahamas. Um, it's a dream we both shared. We also, I find that the way was very inspiring when it came to education, community, teaching new children, inspiring people, um, taking the message of self-sustainability and community to anybody that would listen to us. Uh, we wanted to make this business for people that are disenfranchised, that could work a business, uh, where they have no other choices. Women, you know, this is a, a business women can do. He was a very inspiring uh, spiritual person, which also helps me with my own spirituality. And just a genuine gentleman, kind soul, highly intelligent, and a very good friend who will be sorely, sorely missed. And, um Let's talk about his legacy, what he's left behind, and how is it going to be now, um, now that he's not here? Well, as far as his legacy, he started, he started the aquaponics here in Grand Bahama. Um, he will always be the founder of, the, of that for Grand Bahama, I believe, and an educator. Um, I have very, very big shoes to fill now, so I'm going to continue his legacy as much as possible because I believe his message um we both share was very and is very important and i i will try to honor him and his memory the best that i can and feed my uh, feed our people all right thank you so much i didn't cry yes, are you proud of me Oh, we're talking. Oh, that's no social distancing. Either, sorry. <laughs> I have a mask I got, on. I got, I got messages. Did you get your jab? Yeah, no, 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 I'm gonna get mine on day. I think. Yeah. After the, I was, I was notifying everyone. Yeah. The yeah, so We got, we got the message. Uh, Terrible. Even though he's a fish, it's still a shock. It's never going to be okay, you know. Yeah. But we'll do what we can. I was just saying, you know, we'll do what we can to make sure we continue the legacy. I've got very big shoes to fill. And I only have a size of five and a half foot. So. Well, you've got, you've got our support. Yeah. Always, always. He will live, live long in our memories, old Wayne. He I was, will continue the legacy and make sure everybody It will be knows. very strange yeah. coming to the aquaponics and not seeing him. I have to Yes, admit. yes. Always a gentleman, always a ray of light. I know, and how am I supposed to feel? He was a man of faith and a man of Grand Bahama, yeah. and he understood a sustainable future for this island. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, who's interviewing next?
Okay, okay. I'll, 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 I'll lead you through it. Uh, what what do you, do it? you want to go, you want to go next? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let, no, let's go. And then, and then we... Okay, okay. good to see you. Sorry, under these circumstances. I'm fine. I've just got to go in the next 10 minutes. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I'm putting this on me. Yeah. I don't want to put it all the way up underneath everything. No, this, <laughs> no, just, you can just put it and then, you know, put it, you got to put someplace close okay. that you can pin it to so they can hear you. Okay. You asking me questions? Yeah, so uh, you just talk about your memory of it. Okay. You have a thing on your eyelashes. Where is it? Close your eye. Sorry. Before it goes in your eye. And it's so small that it could go in. No, for real, see there. This little thing there. How do you even see that? Because I take care of people and okay. I have to protect eyes, hands, and legs. Um, I'm sorry. It's all good. Good. Your name? Billy Jane Ferguson. And uh, your relation to me? So I was Wayne's caregiver um, for the last four months. So, Wayne is such a special person and um, I remember him just always being so grateful for every opportunity. One of the biggest things for him was to always telling people how much he appreciated them as well as finding ways to give back. Um, you know, representing Rotary as well, he was an intricate part in making sure that he knew what the needs were. Um, for Grand Bahama and he met those needs through his um, um, work and so it was it was just amazing working with Wayne um, going to him every morning and just making his life just a little bit more comfortable on a daily basis um, just to know that he's given so much to this community I thought the best way that I could serve him was to make sure that he was comfortable during those last few months okay. and what's it going to be like for you now that he is not here? Well, oh, that's a tough one. Um, I got some of my greatest inspiration in the mornings, during bad times, in the evenings, um, from him, with him, always encouraging me to give my best. And he always gave God thanks for the energy to give his best when he, when he was able to. And so knowing that I won't be able to go there and, and see him or talk with him or rub his feet that was his favorite thing um it's, it's gonna be a great huge it's, it's gonna be a huge miss for me and I, I just give god thanks for the opportunity to serve him thank you so much yes you. thank you uh, that's very that was well done well done how was the name rupert haywood haywood and uh your relation to me wayne was he was a friend uh he was a an important part of our community and he was leading the charge when it came to building a sustainable food security for our island. So he was in many ways uh, a dear friend and, and a shining light. Okay. And just really quickly, just talk about your memory of Wayne, uh, having known him. Oh, I know Wayne from all the events that we went to together. I know Wayne uh, also from Every Saturday morning when we go down to the aquaponics, which he was running, and we were always met with a smile. We were met with these great progress reports uh, of how things were progressing and how he, his business was go going from strength to strength. Um, you know, he loved Grand Bahama. We spent a lot of time also during Dorian, in the aftermath of Dorian together, you know, through, through the church. Uh, he was, again, a, a pillar of strength at our time of need. <laughs> Sorry, this no, is no problem. No, they moved. The, they moved. The, <laughs> they moved a uh, little they, piece. They, 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 they moved your piece. Yeah. Oh, they moved while I was talking. <laughs> um, hold on. You want it? I'm gonna bore it. You want to start again? You moved it while I was talking. And uh, for you personally, what's this gonna be like now that you know he's no longer here? Well, it's a huge loss when we lose anyone from our community, but you know, as a friend, as someone that I saw on a regular basis, someone who, as I say, was such an important part of our community, it's going to be a massive loss. And they're big, big shoes to fill. I know that Tiffany Dennison's taking on the business, and I know she'll do a fantastic job. Um, but 
it's very, very hard to fill the shoes of Wayne Hall. I'm going to miss him hugely. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Awesome. Okay. Just talk about, um, first of all, your memory of Wayne. Well, uh, Wayne was a very special and extraordinary individual. Uh, I've had the honor and the, the privilege of uh, him not only being a friend that is closer than a brother, but also uh, to be his pastor. And um, Wayne uh, loved God. And he was a constant witness wherever he went. Uh, I, I, would, I would move around this community and uh, when people talked about Wayne, uh, they talked about his, his witness for God. Uh, and also they, they, they knew that he went to our church, Living Water Assembly. So, so he helped to, to, to put our church on a map. But, um, you know, I... I, I you know, over the last several months, you know, we've had to uh, be there for Wayne and to help him um, during this, this uh, struggle he was dealing with, with his health. And, um, you know, I, I reflect on uh, one day when I, because, you know, when I first knew Wayne, Wayne was a computer expert. He's still a computer expert. But I had to ask him, um, how did you ch transition or change from being a computer expert to get into farming, and in particularly the, the aquaponic farm, which he founded and which he established and which he developed. And, and you know what he told me? He said, God told him to feed the nation. And he kept repeating that from time and time again. He would say that same thing. God told me to feed the nation. So uh, what I realized in his, in his pursuit and drive to develop the aquaponic farm was was his first step in moving towards bringing about a, a an island a country that would be able to sustain itself and um, he served on, uh, in our ministry he served people out in the community during uh, the disaster um, after in the aftermath of Hurricane Dorian uh, Wayne farm was completely destroyed by the storm because the storm surge came in uh, where the farm is located but even after that he was dealing with having to rebuild his farm but he also worked along with us to serve the community in uh, relief distribution distribution of beds uh, he was right there anytime we needed him he was there helping us in distribution but that just shows you the heart that he had um, he loved God he loved um, helping people and he loved agriculture an amazing individual which we will greatly miss um, in this community and in particularly our church yeah, that's good thank you so much <laughs> okay